like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 13 is asking for us to solve this quadratic equation. So it's 2x squared plus 2x equals 4 minus x. Whenever you're solving a quadratic equation, you always want to set it equal to zero. Whether you're going to use factoring or the quadratic formula to solve it, either way, you need it to be equal to zero. So the first step here is going to be to move all this stuff on the right-hand side of the equation to the left. So I can do that by subtracting 4 from either side and also adding x. So I'm going to do this to both sides of the equation. Basically, I'm kind of doing two steps in one here. So once you do that, you'll get 2x squared, and then I've got 2x plus x would be 3x, and then minus 4, there's no, there's no constant there to combine with the negative 4, so that just stays by itself. And then everything on the right-hand side should cancel out 4 minus 4, x minus x, all that should be 0, and that's what we wanted to happen. Now, once you get this set up, uh, you have usually two options. Uh, and there's, there, there are other methods too, but the two major options that you usually uh, will use are going to be either use the quadratic formula or use factoring. Now, I do not believe this one can be factored, but even if it could, I'm going to use quadratic formula anyway. When you're using factoring, it's usually easier if the numbers are smaller, and these numbers are pretty small, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this in my head thinking, I don't think we can factor it anyway. There are some quadratics you can't factor, and sometimes it's just too complicated to figure it out. So when that happens, when all else fails, you can always fall back on the quadratic formula to solve any quadratic. So let me write that formula out to the side. I do not think this is a formula that is given to you on the CLEP test, so you will need to remember it. But there's not too many formulas to remember. This is just one of the ones that you got to. So um, when your equation is in standard form here, so in other words, uh, it, I'll just say here, if your equation is in this form, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then you can use this formula to figure out what x is going to be. Okay, then, no, then. <laughs> okay, so x equals, uh, and here's the formula here, negative b plus or minus, uh, let's see here, we're going to need a, a little symbol there, here we go, plus or minus, uh, and the plus or minus there is indicating that we're going to have two solutions, so just be ready for that. Uh, one of the solutions is going to use plus, and the other one is going to use minus. So it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. And you can kind of see some of the answer choices are set up like this. Like they kind of look like they're simplified versions of this. So, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean these are going to be the answers, but uh, because they could maybe, if it could be factored, simplified to these uh, rational numbers over here. Uh, but let's just start plugging everything in and see what happens. So if we look back to the equation that we had, um, this 2x squared plus 3x minus 4, we can identify a as 2, that's the leading coefficient, the coefficient of the quadratic term, the one with the x squared. Uh, we can also identify b as being 3, that's the coefficient of the linear term, the one that has x and no other coordinate and no other uh, exponents. And then we've got c equals negative 4, that's going to be the constant, the one that does not have the x on it. So from there, we can start plugging everything into this equation. Um, so my b here is 3, so I'm just going to change this to 3, and I'm going to change this to 3. My a value is 2, so I'm going to substitute this with a 2. And finally, c is negative 4. Now, just to be safe, I'm just going to put all these numbers I'm substituting in here in parentheses. These first couple of threes you don't really need to, um, but just to show that I am substituting numbers into these um, parameters here, a, b, and c. So from there, we're just going to simplify. Uh, negative 3 is just that. It's just negative 3. Okay, So negative 3 plus or minus the square root of, and 3 squared is 9. Um, here we have 4, uh, I'm going to keep this minus sign here for just a minute. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, I'm going to change that to 8. 
negative 4 times negative 8 would be positive 32. So say plus 32. And then divide it by 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so the last thing to simplify here would be 9 plus 32, which is going to be 41. And that's going to be it for this one. Uh, that's our answer. Negative 3 plus or minus root 41 over 4. We can't reduce or simplify this root 41 at all because it has no perfect square factors. So we're going to look at our answer choices, and it looks like our answer choice here is D. Negative 3 plus root 41 over 4, and negative 3 minus root 41 over 4. So that's it for number 13. Thanks for watching, and you all have a great day.